Today at Knife Banner, we're talking about CRKT knives and Kurt drinks a bunch of caffeine. Let's talk knives. What's happening, everybody? As I said earlier, we're talking about CRKT knives. Now, a little bit of housekeeping to get out of the way. Um, all of these knives we have on the table are based on sales. So the more you guys bought of something, the higher the chance or the higher the likelihood that it is on the table. So based on sales, just so you know. So if you're wondering why we didn't include this knife or that knife, that's why. Kurt's making faces at me. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, starting off. Um, CRKT, man, I feel like this is a knife brand that non-knife people, it's a recognizable knife brand that if you're not a knife person, you probably have owned one at some point in your life. Kurt, you have a story kind of about a CRKT knife that you've owned well before you even started getting into knives. Right. I have a, an M16 that was gifted to me about 18 years ago. Um, wait, I don't know if it was, am I that old? Tell me about it. I don't know, are you? Uh, probably. Anyway, I had an M16 that was gifted to me and it was a cool knife. It was a big knife, especially, I think I was like 18 or something like that. Wait, 18 plus 18. It's 36. Bada boom, bada bing. <laughs> anyway, we've got an M16 here. This is not mine but it is a new one that we have on the site. CRKT Carson M16. This is a Zytel Tonto blade. Um, the one I had actually had half serrations. So, but it also looked like there were like six parts off six different knives just to build yeah. the one M16. So something interesting about that knife. We actually have that knife here. We're not gonna show it for a couple of reasons, um, but I feel like you said it was kind of like a piecemeal knife where you kind of put part, parts together. Yeah, so I met this guy and we were talking about knives and uh, he's like, oh, I can build you one. I'm like, what do you mean you can build me one? And he's like, I have so many extra parts, I'll build you one. And he made this knife piece by piece, so who knows how many actual pieces are original or not. Yeah, that's that's kind of why we're not showing it right now. So this Kit Carson design, it is nine and a quarter inch overall length. It's got a 3.8 inch blade. We talked about it being a Tonto blade. Oz 8 steel and comes in at 6.20 ounces. These are cool, man. These are meaty knives. It, I mean, it's it's definitely a do it all kind of knife, like a heavy work kind of knife. Yeah, I don't think we could have done a CRKT video without including the M16. Now, uh, if you combine all the models together and basically put them all in one category, they probably would be one of the top sellers. Um, but that particular one in any in individual M16 wasn't um, a top seller over these other ones. But like I said, I don't think you can include or not include an M16 in a CRKT video um, right. because it's just such a tried and true classic design from CRKT. There's like hundreds of different variations. They've been deployed thousands and thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of times over in the sandbox. So um, classic, classic design from CRKT. It really is. And for 47 bucks, you can have a piece of history there you go. That's what I would call it, CRKT <laughs> history. Perfect. All right, my first knife on the table uh, is a little bit of a newer entry from CRKT, and I think this might be one of my favorites on the table. We'll, we'll find out at the end, I guess. So this is the CRKT Tuna. It is a Burnley design. It comes in at 7.625 inches. That's overall length, the blade length of 3.25 inches. It is an 8CR blade, which is fairly common among most CRKT knives. Uh, they're starting to dabble into a little, a uh, few other steels. Uh, but 8CR is kind of your standard CR or CRKT steel. Uh, it does come in a spear point variation, G10 handles, and comes in at 3.7 ounces, so reasonable weight. The reason I like this knife so much, I was first introduced to the Tuna three blade shows ago. We did a video with Burnley on how to maintain a knife and he had a custom Tuna and I was drooling over that knife. It had like this really cool stonewashed 
green uh, titanium handles and like the color was just perfect on that knife and I really, really enjoyed that knife. When I saw this come out, I was super stoked because I really, really liked his tuna. Um, but now you have that custom model, which is hundreds of dollars available in something that costs $44.99, which is super, super cool. Dude, I love that knife. It fits my hand well. You get a, an excellent size of blade. That for me, if, if I were to buy a newer CRKT, that's probably the one I would go for. Yeah. I like the tuna a lot. Very comfortable. This one's really cool. You got kind of those interesting orange accents in the pivot collar and the backspacer as well. You have a hollow ground blade. And I like that the handle has minimal uh, choils, I guess. Um, so you kind of have a nice comfortable grip no matter what your finger and hand size are. So right. that's the CRKT Tuna Burnley design. I really enjoy this knife. All right, up next I have the CRKT CEO. As we all know and love this knife. This knife is a hot item. It comes in and it is gone fairly fast off the website. Super popular and soon hmm. there's going to be a sweet blackout version. Mm -hmm. No idea when that's coming. All black. But I'm pretty stoked for that. So way excited. So the CEO is a 3.1 inch blade. It's super slim, almost pen-like design. Um, <clears throat> the idea is that it's a deep carry pocket. You can obviously carry it in your pocket, but you can also put it in like a shirt pocket. And it's just a nice, sleek, super slim EDC. Um, this thing is seven and a half inches overall. It's eight CR. And it's got the uh, glass reinforced nylon scales there. This is a cool knife. It comes in at 2.10 ounces. My favorite thing about it is it, it's not an assisted, but the detent is so nice that it just pops over. And actually with not very much effort, I feel like when the detent is really strong, it's kind of hard to pop it over that. But the CEO just, glides open yeah i really I, I think that's one of the standout features that and it being so slim um like the d10 is almost perfect on that knife and like you said it feels assisted but it's it's not yeah this this is a cool knife and uh I think we had another variation kind of come and go we had a neon green yeah. scaled it was like a representation of bamboo I was cool. I honestly, I saw that pop up and I wanted one, but they were gone so fast, so. I wanna say I know of four different variations now. So we have kind of the standard one, which is your black and satin finish. There's the Blade HQ exclusive one in green micarta. There's that crazy neon green one, which I didn't even know about until earlier today. Right, so it that just was came cool. and went. Had no idea that existed. And then we've got the blackout version coming, which I'm pretty stoked about. Yep, and for 40 bucks, that is a really cool slim design. I actually have quite a, like quite a bit of my friends, my, my close friends, they all have CEOs. Yeah, it's a good one, man. All right, next up, I have another Burnley design. I just realized that almost all of my knives on the table are all Burnley designs, so Lucky. that was not intentional, but that's just how we roll today. So, um, I have the CRKT Squid. This is a classic, so specs first. We have an overall length of 5.75 inches, blade length of 2.25 inches. It is an 8CR13 MOV blade in a spear point configuration. Uh, this particular model has stainless steel handles. There are some other variations that have G10. Um, you can get aftermarket uh, scales for them as well. There's all sorts of options for this knife and it comes in at 3.5 ounces. Now this knife has been around for forever. <laughs> I was just in preparation for this video, I was browsing around for CRKT squid videos to watch just to learn stuff. I found a video of Ben at CRKT doing a video in 2015. <laughs> so this was yes. a classic back in 2015. It's still a classic, really like this knife. Um, this one in particular comes in a deep carry pocket clip variation. Uh, it is a frame lock and you just have this nice thumb stud that opens up, again, this 2.25 inch blade. Um, classic design, I really enjoy it. 
there's not much else to say about it, I don't think. Like, it's been around for forever. People have had it in their pockets forever. I know this was one of Ben's favorite knives to gift it's, people. It's a classic. Yeah. It's been around for a long time. So if you're looking for a knife that is legal in many places, um, if you have blade length restrictions, that type of thing, the Squid is a really good, inexpensive option. This particular one goes for $23.95. Like I said, there's a bunch of different variations, so prices may vary on that front. So CRKT Squid, Burnley design. Enjoy this knife a lot. Love Burnley. He's always got good stuff. All right, I've got a CRKT Foltz Minimalist, which is strangely one of my favorite fixed blades. That's, I know that sounds backwards for me. Usually I'm like big fixed blades or a bug out, but I actually like carrying these things and I'll tell you why. First, let's go over some specs. 5.125 inches overall length. Blade length 2.1, it's 5CR, micarta scales, and it's 1.6 ounces. This is why I like to carry it. I, I wear a lot of like athletic shorts, stuff like that. Starting to get cooler here in Utah, but this, you can neck carry it. It comes with a little clip that you can scout carry or vertical or whichever way. Um, my favorite part is that I can stick this on the back of my shorts and it's not heavy. So it doesn't just like pull, like pull down on them, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, you can go jog, you can whatever ride dirt bikes, whatever you're doing, and this knife is so light and small, it's like it's not even there. Then, watch this, the hams. <laughs> the hams, it's a three finger knife, but with the hams and the lanyard, dude, I'm not kidding. That fits my big sausage fingers, barely, but it fits my sausage fingers. And look at that, dude. It's almost like a ham shark, but I don't know if this is really a fin. It's a, yeah, Maybe it's on. more like a hammerhead shark. There you go. <laughs> ham or head shark. Ham <laughs> or head. Hey, also, I, I noticed, you know how I do face profiles, like stuff that I see in yeah. knives? This kind of looks like a cartoonish Frankenstein. And I think I get the Frankenstein, especially from the green. Okay. Watch this. Here's the back of his head. You put some little hair up here. The circle, the hole is his eye. This is his nose and it goes all the way down to his lip right there. <laughs> okay. And so this is like the bottom of his chin. Oh. So it's like long boy Frankenstein. Long boy, it's tall face Frankenstein. There we go. <laughs> so you said earlier, you have two of these? Yeah, I have two of these. I have the drop point and the cleaver. Okay, so you do have the cleaver version, awesome. Yeah, it's cool. And honestly, these, they're kind of just small, fun knives for 25 bucks. You can't really go wrong. It's nice to have something so small and lightweight, but also, man, if, if worst happen, you know, self-defense, this knife really locks in your hand very, very well. So yeah. cool. it's one that you don't think is ever going to go flying out of your hand. Yeah, the Minimalist is a good one. It definitely has a following. Yeah, say that. big time. Okay, <laughs> up next for me, I have another Burnley design. <laughs> this is the Lucas Burnley Ox, or I guess the CRKT Ox by Lucas Burnley. Uh, this is an interesting knife. This is, in particular, is the fixed blade version. So this comes in a fixed blade and a folding version. I think there is a black serrated folding version and a satin folding version as well. Uh, check the website for prices on those. Uh, this comes in at a 7.5 inch overall length, blade length of 3.5 inches. It's again, Nate Serra blade in a drop point configuration. It has these interesting honeycomb pattern GFN handles uh, that are actually quite slim, uh, which I tend to like. I noticed that when I was playing with it before we started and man, it's really slim. That's one thing I noticed about this one is it's like, it's really comfortable. It's, it's slim, but it's rounded, so it fits in your hand nice. There's no, again, there's no choils or anything, which is usually my preference. Um, and it's got that cool honeycomb pattern. And yeah, I think these scales are, are, are pretty dope. So they're GFN and it comes in at 2.9 ounces. So like I said, Burnley design, it's got this jimping on the back. I think for me, it's a, they're a little coarse. They are, it's a little rough. I, I would prefer a slightly uh, less aggressive jimping, um, right. but depending on Something your- Something a little more shallow maybe. This is a personal preference thing. 
on the jimping. Um, otherwise, I really enjoy it. It is hollow ground. It's got kind of this interesting swedge ground into the chip here. Interesting design by Burnley. Um, I really like it. For as a fixed blade carrier, Kurt, is this something that you would consider EDC carrying as a fixed blade? Because I feel like this is a good weight and size for that type of application. Yeah, honestly, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it's, it's nice to be able to have a lot of blade on you. And I, for me, fall, winter, early part of spring, mm -hmm. I always have a fixed blade on me, almost always. Yeah, it's pants season, man. Right, instead of me getting my pumpkin latte, I just put fixed <laughs> blade <laughs> Orange mocha frappuccino! It's pumpkin almost spice latte. Yeah, pumpkin spice season. <laughs> it's almost here. But instead of that, I, I throw on a fixed blade and it's nice to have a lot of blade with not a whole lot of bulk. Yeah. And I think that would be a good one. I mean, I would consider carrying a boot carrier. I think that's what stands out to me uh, about this knife in particular is the fact that it is so slim. Like it works really nice in a pinch grip, which I tend to like on a lot of fixed blades is right. if you can just like pinch grip then it's easy to get into boxing. I never lose! One other thing about this knife before I put it down, have you ever seen this mounting option? This J-hook mounting option? No. Can you take a guess at how it works? I had to look it up earlier. Here's goes right. in between your belt and your jeans? Yes, it does. So here's, here's how it works. So if you At haven't first seen this, I was like, oh, that's like a concealed so carry. The knife portion goes inside the waistband, right? Yeah. And the J-hook hooks underneath your belt. That's cool. Yeah, so then you, so when you pull it out, you're not pulling the whole sheath out and it's nice and secure. Uh, and there's also, if you wanna put like a tech lock or any other mounting points, there's holes uh, in order to do that. So if you don't like the J-hook carry option, there's definitely other ways you can go about carrying this particular knife. All right, guys, up next, I have the CRKT Home Front. This is another one. Maybe this was it with the big jimping, big uh, aggressive yeah, that jimping. Uh, that's, a, that's a Ken Onion design though. This so. is a Ken Onion design, and this is super cool, guys. I don't know if you guys have seen the Home Front. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't but it is cool because it is a breakdown version, a quick breakdown, but it's got a, a spin wheel here that gets rid of your screw in the back and this unlocks and you can take the whole thing apart, spray it out with a hose, yeah. do whatever, you know, if you got mud in there or if you're like, maybe not with serrations, but if you're hunting and you're processing an animal, you don't, I, a lot of stuff goes into that knife, you yeah. know what I mean? Especially for a folder. That's the question I was gonna ask you, like maybe not that particular blade style because you have Tanto serrated blade styles, but it does come in just kind of a standard drop point version. Like I feel like if that, if you were gonna go hunting with a folding knife, obviously a fixed blade is, is, is a usual preference, but there are people that like folding knives as well. If you're gonna go hunting with a folding knife, that I think it's gonna be a great option because of all the junk that you get in your knife, right? And right. It, it comes apart in three pieces. Like you take it apart, you wash it out, you put it back together, simple. Super simple. Um, maybe instead of hunting, you cut a lot of cake. There There's you go. lots of frosting. Cake eater. That frosting's gonna get up in there. And I know that's like two extremes, right? But Dude, you there's so out. many reasons why this is so handy to be able to take this out and clean it. Three and a half inch blade, it Tonto, obviously overall length of 8.3 inches. Uh, it's a glass reinforced nylon and stainless steel, which is cool. Um, you got your deep carry pocket clip, just single sided deep carry pocket clip. Anyway, these are really cool and very robust, easy to take care of, and they're $63.95 on the website. My last knife on the table is not a Burnley design this time. It's a Vox Nays design. So uh, this is the CRKT Pillar. It is designed by Jesper Vox Nays. Um, and overall length is 5.9 inches. You have a blade length of 2.4 inches. It is an 8CR blade. All of my knives have been 8CR. Crazy. Nice. Um, comes in a sheep's foot blade. Uh, this stainless steel handles and of course it's 4.2 ounces. Um, the interesting thing about this is you can get this in this size, which is uh, just the regular Pilar, and then you can get the uh, the larger one, which I like to call the Pilarge, which is not its name, but it should have been. We'll just say Pilarge. Uh, has a flipper tab, 
Uh, so it is a you know flipper opening mechanism, and it is slightly larger than this particular one. This is interesting because it's named after Ernest Hemingway's boat that he used to uh, just do all sorts of crazy stuff. <laughs> so I did a little bit of research. <laughs> so Hemingway was an avid, avid tuna fisherman and marlin fisherman. Um, but a big problem with tuna fishing during the time was you would tire a tuna out. So the big defense that a tuna has against predators is that it's really fast. So you right. would tire that tuna out, but by the time you tired it out and got it into the boat, it had already been eaten by sharks. So, <laughs> so Hemingway had the bright idea of just using a machine gun to shoot at the sharks while he was reeling in the tuna. So interesting Ernest Hemingway fact, uh, named after his boat, he used a machine gun to fish for tuna in that boat. Hey, and full circle with the Burnley tuna. There we go. Man, that was yeah. an excellent analogy. Different kind of tuna. <laughs> That's cool. All right, guys, I have one more. This is the CRKT Vox Design Pete. We figured that out today. It's spelled P-I-E-T. And I want to be clear. The research was texting Ryan and asking how you pronounce this. <laughs> That's true. This. this thing is cool, guys. It's got your uh, GFN scales. It's stainless steel, uh, two and a half ounces, six and a half inches overall, 2.6 inch cutting blade, um, HCR, and it's a spear point. These are textured, kind of feels like spackle. Spa yeah. Spackle yeah. on a wall? Kind of, yeah. Is that what it's called? Spackle? I'm pretty sure. Or is that what you put on the Whatever ceiling? the wall texture stuff is. Orange peel. Orange peel. Orange peel. There you go. It's cool. It's got a reversible pocket clip. It's deep carry pocket clip. You get this cool spacer and you have the thumb hole to open this little beast up. Now, this is a liner lock, but super easy to deploy. Voxnez design, man. You just, you can't go wrong. I Honestly, Burnley and Vox, man, they kill yeah. it. Jesper is so good at just making like smaller utilitarian type designs and that's no exception. Like the Pilar is no exception. Like he does a really good job at just making small knives that work really well in your hand. Right, yeah, this one in the hams feels really nice. I like the design, slim, I like this continuous line on a lot of drop points. Jesper does it really well. Yeah, the peat. $29.95 on the website, you can get yourself a peat. Beautiful, like that knife too. Okay, now we come to the part of the show where I ask you a very, very important question. Ooh. Of all the knives on either my table or your table, which one would you take home right now? The tuna. No hesitation. <clears throat> well, it's just a, it's a really great design. Fits really well in my hands. It's honestly the lines, the lines on it, man. Comes smooth off the spine of the blade into the scales. Oh, it's just, that's a cool knife, man. Yeah, well, you're gonna make me uh, be boring because I'm also going to choose the tuna, but I chose it first, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> As I said earlier in the show, uh, I think this is my favorite knife on the table. And I think uh, the reason being was like, I saw the custom that yeah. Burnley made uh, a while ago. And I was like, man, I really want that, but there's no way I'm paying for that. Right. And then this came out and it's what, 40, 45 bucks, something like that. So you get that sweet Burnley design uh, in a really affordable package. So that's the reason why I enjoy the tuna so much. So. Such a good one. I think I'd choose a tuna, so that's it. We did it, man. Um, that's kind of the end of the show. Let us know what CRKT knife on the table or not on the table is your favorite. Uh, comment down below. Also, like, comment, subscribe. Do all the things. Um, otherwise, we'll see you guys on the next one. Welcome to the end screen. Hey, if you're new here and haven't already done so, make sure to click that button right over here and subscribe to Blade HQ. Head on over to the website if you want to check out some of these great CRKT knives. Also down below there, there's a playlist with some great knife content. We'll see you in the next one.